Alright, what's up guys? No intro today. You clicked on this video for one reason, and one reason only. Let's just send a message with Python. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a new project. Go ahead and select a Python application. Click Next. Go ahead and name it. We're going to call ours uh, Send SMS Text Message. Alright, so now we're in Visual Studio, and you need to do one thing super important. You have to install a actual package. We're going to be using Twilio, and Twilio is a completely separate service, obviously, from Python. It's an external source. It's its own company, and some of its services are paid, but luckily for us, there is a service that allows us to send messages for free. So the first thing you got to do is go ahead and click on your solution in the, in the Solution Explorer on the right. Click where it says Pi and then down here, click on Python Environments. It's going to open up a few different options here. And what we need to do is say Open in PowerShell. This is going to open up the PowerShell window. And the next thing we need to do is type in pip install. And then we're going to say Twilio. And obviously, mine's already installed. So it says requirement um, satisfied. But for you, it should show some sort of like download progress or install progress. It should only take a few seconds. Once we got that knocked out, let's just go back to Visual Studio and let's start putting together our code. So our code is extremely simple. It's honestly only like 11 lines and maybe even 10 if you include some spacing. All we're going to do is we're going to go up here at the top and say from twilio.rest import the client module. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to create a client object, which we're the client and we need to, you know, send out a request to a server. We just need to import that library to start with. So we're going to need to define some variables and we need two in total. We need the account underscore SID. And we're going to fill that in with some stuff. And then we need account token. And if you don't know where to get this, let me show you. So once you actually have your Twilio account created, and I have mine here, um, you'll notice that on your dashboard, or the very first thing you see when you log in, you have your account set here, and then you have your auth token. So obviously the account set is kind of like a unique identifier for your account. And the auth token is like you proving that you are that person because only you should have that auth token. So we're going to go ahead and copy the SID. Go back to our code over here, paste it, swap back to Chrome, go ahead and copy the auth token. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys because it's mine. You, you can't have it. It's my spicy token. Go back to Visual Studio. Here we go. We're going to paste our auth token in here. Then the next thing we need to do is create a client object. So we're going to say client is equal to new and then instantiate a client object. Now, this client object takes two parameters. And what do you know? It's these two things that we just provided here. So we're going to say account underscore SID is the first parameter and then account underscore token is the second parameter. All right, guys, now that we have those initial steps out of the way, now we're ready to actually construct our message here. What we're going to do is say message is equal to clients.messages.create. And we're going to access this create method here. And this is going to allow us to um, do a variety of things. There's a bunch of parameters you could set up or send to this method, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys a few today. First one that we need is our messaging service SID. And if you're wondering what this is, let me show you. So in the dashboard of your Twilio account, you could go ahead and go over to messaging and click try it out and then send an SMS message. And then there's going to be a like setup thing here if you don't have this already. Now, I've already set this up, so my screen's going to look a little bit different than yours. But um, I know that when I initially set it up, it's like, hey, you actually need like an SMS uh, messaging service to use this. So what I did is I got a trial phone number, which should be free with your account. And I also uh, went ahead and set up a messaging service, which I believe I called like messaging test or something. So then in here, you can go ahead and select your phone number that you want to send it to and select the uh, messaging ID that you have, which mine is message test. And it's actually really cool. It'll construct code for you on the right side of the screen. And then you could like swap out your body here. And um, I'm not gonna send it in the browser here cause I like to send it. I'm trying to show you how to do it in Visual Studio, but it actually construct the code and then you could literally just swap it into Visual Studio. So you should be able to get your SID from that screen that I just showed you. And I'm going to paste mine in right here. So I have mine pasted in and then go ahead and add a comma. And then now's time for our next parameter. So now we're going to say body is equal to, and then you could say literally whatever you want. So this is going to be the content of your message. And we're going to say, hi, Sean, how do it be down there? Do it be, you know? Eh? <laughs> and then let's go ahead and add a uh, media URL. And then this is this is for um, attaching images to your text message. This needs to be some sort of valid link out on the internet. And lucky for us, Twilio actually um, provided their own image that they like to send with their uh, tests. So let's go ahead and drop that in here. It's going to be this static Flickr URL. <laughs> it's literally a picture of like a, a Lego 
um, Han Solo next to the Millennium Falcon. So that's kind of fun. Then we're going to add a comment here. And the final thing that we need to say is um, two. And this is just who we're going to send it to. I live in the United States, so my country code is going to be plus one. So we need to make sure to have that plus one in there. But um, obviously, this is going to vary for wherever you live. Make sure that you have your country code in there and then your actual phone number afterwards. I'm going to drop my phone number in here. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys what it is. Just know that it's here. So I dropped it in there now. And the final thing that we want to do before we launch our app is we're going to say, hey, we want to print our message.sid to ourselves. And that's just going to kind of allow um, us to have some sort of feedback when we're launching your app. All right, guys, one little thing that I noticed before we launch it, make sure that this client matches here. It needs to be lowercase, otherwise it's going to try to create another object. Um, we, we named this client, so make sure that that, is, that matches up well. So now we're ready to launch our app. Let's click start. So here we go. It printed out the SID. I'm holding up my phone. I'm waiting for the message. And all I have to do to actually send that message, is if I click any key on the keyboard, I'm just going to click the enter key. Um, it's going to run that code. And here we are. You'll see that I just got the message. I, I don't think it'll focus good enough. Oh, there you go. So it says, hi, Sean. How do it be down there? And if we actually click into the messages, <laughs> we'll see right here that we actually have the Lego Han Solo, like I was saying before. It's fine, you guys get it. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or if you run into anything. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.